Assuming the shutdown's only a few weeks, I don't think anybody would say that the ability of the federal government to deal with higher education issues that it's confronting will be significantly curtailed just by the government shutdown. But I think there's a bigger picture issue here, which is that um, we're seeing these annually, uh, and they're being anticipated annually, the, the raising of the debt ceiling. Um, the, the passing of, of a budget and continuing resolutions, uh, which may prevent the federal government from doing some planning for addressing major issues in higher education. Um, you know, higher education is changing rapidly, and that's not stopping while the federal government is shut down or while it's debating these fundamental issues with regards to, to debt and spending. Uh, so what, what do we mean by the change? Well, number one, other countries are educating their students at a rapidly accelerating pace. And so the United States was once first in the world in the number of adults with a college education. And today it's dropped to somewhere between fourth and tenth, depending on how you count. That's not going to stop while the government's shut down. Secondly, student debt. We have over a trillion dollars in unpaid student debt right now. That's larger than any other form of debt other than mortgages in our country. Bigger than credit card debt, bigger than auto uh, loan debt. Um, that is accelerating, and the federal government's got to figure out how to do, deal with that. And the more it is diverted from its attention, or, or time is limited in uh, uh, for it to deal with those issues, I think is significant. The final one is technological change. Um, we've seen it have an impact on lots of other forms of, of our economy, uh, areas of our economy and, and uh, culture in the United States. I, I think what we've seen in the corporate world in manufacturing and other areas in terms of uh, technology changing the fundamental business model is now happening in higher ed. Uh, students can now access learning online. Students can access learning from a variety of places. Colleges are now giving students credit for things that they've learned in the past regardless of whether they learn it on those college campuses. The federal government's got to figure out how it aligns its financial aid structure, its regulatory structure with that set of issues. This again is not going to change. Students are not going to access online education less during the government shutdown than they would have beforehand. Um, and so the federal government needs to deal with these issues and the less time it has to address anything but uh, what have been major crises in terms of uh, I international affairs and in terms of, of spending and debt, um, I think, I think uh, is worrisome uh, for the long term of higher education and mostly for the students who are really working hard to try to make sure that they can advance their lives through higher education.